now that Thanksgiving is over. Health leaders in the state expect cases of COVID-19 to increase even more. So we wanted to know what exactly should you do if someone at your dinner table tests positive? Our Fox host Bridget Chavez joins us now live with the health manager of Washington County. You spoke with her for that answer and you have much more. Bridget? Yeah, well, Trisha Mortel says the first thing you should do is let others know that someone at your dinner table tested positive. That way people can go into quarantine or isolation sooner and help stop the spread of the virus. I know it may seem hard. It may feel like I don't want to tell my family or my friends. That person would be um, helping the rest of the family or the friends because they could get into isolation and quarantine faster. For the past two days, Washington County has reported more than 300 cases. And Washington County Health Manager Trisha Mortel says contact tracing each one of those people is a big undertaking and they need the community's help. And if we can't get a hold of someone right away, we move on to the next person. So we're not catching everyone at this point as quickly as we had in the past few months. If you were exposed to someone who tested positive for COVID-19, you should quarantine for 14 days and follow up with your doctor about getting tested. Often people are most contagious the two days before they feel their symptoms. So that's why we're encouraging the quarantine. So staying away from others within a 14 day period. It's important to remember that a negative test result does not free you from that 14 day quarantine. You can become ill at any point in time uh, regarding when you've been exposed. With the holiday surge, Mortel says testing is at its maximum and that some healthcare providers have had to turn people away who want to get tested. You may not be able to get a test if you're not symptomatic at this point. Um, for example, people were trying to get testing to travel ahead of travel. It's harder to do that right now when we have so many positive cases. And Mortel says, again, we cannot take any symptoms at face value. So if you are feeling sick, stay home. Reporting live in Northwest Portland, Bridget Chavez, Fox 12, Oregon.